Welcome all. In today's lecture, I will talk about the classification of amino acids based on R group. Amino acids are classified into different groups based on the chemical nature of a side chains. One of the most important characteristics of the side chain is the polarization of the covalent bond, as that polarization will ensure how good is the interaction of side chains with a water molecule. So what do I mean by that? For instance, if we have a molecule, in that molecule there are two atoms uh, that are bonded together by a covalent bond. And these two atoms, they differ from each other based on their electronegativity values. So that atom which is more electronegative will attract ultimately an electronic uh, a pair more toward itself. That will generate a partial negative charge on the more electronegative atom and resultantly a partial positive charge will be introduced on the other atom. So that polarization of covalent bond will ensure how good is the interaction of that uh, polarized covalent bond with other interacting residues, in this case with water molecule. The nonpolar side chains, they are hydrophobic as they do not interact with water. So if they are not interacting with water, then it means that there will be no hydrogen bonding with water molecules. The hydrophilic amino acids, they contain polar side chains, so they can easily make hydrogen bonding with water. Now, based on the characteristics of the R chain, amino acids can be classified into different groups, like the one containing nonpolar aliphatic R group containing amino acids. We have aromatic R group containing amino acids. We have polar uncharged amino acids. We have positively charged or basic R group containing amino acids and negatively charged acidic R group containing amino acids. So this is one of the uh, class of amino acids having uh, nonpolar aliphatic R group containing amino acids. So amino acid uh, um, in this group, the R group in those amino acids is uh, nonpolar and it is hydrophobic in nature. And uh, amino acid in this group, um, they include alanine, uh, valine, leucine, and isoleucine. Um, and I have represented uh, these three as separately because the R chain of these three amino acids is a bit different to uh, this particular class. So we have uh, in this uh, other classes like glycine, methionine, and proline. They are uh, containing, their R group is also nonpolar aliphatic. However, uh, the R group in this class is a bit different to uh, that class. Okay, so this is uh, the structure of alanine. And by the way, uh, I have shown all those amino acids uh, with different charges uh, as we see. Uh, what these amino acids have um, at pH 7. So alanine is uh, one of the nonpolar aliphatic R group containing amino acids. We can see this is the amino group and that one is the carboxylic group. So we have positive and negative charges and that one is the side chain. So it is, it is just a CH3. Now this is the further um, 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 defined or uh, elaborated structure of CH3 and we can see uh, the carbon is bonded to 3 hydrogen. There is a sort of even distribution of charges and that even distribution of charges ensure that um, they are nonpolar and they are not uh, uh, available for interaction. By the way, the magenta color that shows the side chains in different amino acids. So that's the second amino acid. Uh, valine, the, the three letter code is VAL and uh, one letter code is V um, and, and we again have uh, a similar situation. We have CH3, uh, we have uh, three CH3, um, so we have um, and, and in that in leucine, again we have CH, so uh, um, four CH3 and the structure of isoleucine is also like leucine uh, but a bit um, different. So this is uh, isoleucine and we have a CH3 group attached to this position. Now again, these um, valine, leucine, and isoleucine, they have uh, a CH3 group, and in that group, there is uh, even distribution of charges, so they are nonpolar, they are not available for interaction with water molecule. 
The other uh, amino acid is glycine and it is uh, the, the three letter code is GLY and the single letter code is G. It is one of the simplest amino acid because uh, it has just hydrogen as a side chain. As you can see here, um, it is a part of, uh, I mean, it is grouped into a non-polar amino acid. Um, um, however, the side chain does not contribute significantly to hydrophobicity. So, so I mean, in terms of other hydrophobic uh, amino acid, if we compare the hydrophobicity of glycine, so it doesn't contribute that much to the hydrophobicity because it just has only hydrogen as a side chain. Uh, but in terms of uh, its presence in a protein structure, it is very important because where glycine is present, um, that region is more flexible. We will discuss this uh, flexibility uh, in, in our different in, in our um, um, next lectures uh, when we will talk about the structure of proteins, our secondary structure of proteins, and then we will discuss the effect of these different amino acids uh, in maintaining our and our um, in, in in stabilizing our. Uh, it giving a particular characteristics to, to that region where they are present. So we will talk that in detail. The methionine uh, is um, now in all uh, 20 amino acids, there are, there are two amino acids that has sulfur in it. So methionine is one of the amino acids of, of the two amino acids um, that is non-polar and um, having aliphatic R group. Um, uh, so it has sulfur, but in this case, the sulfur is less reactive uh, as compared to um, um, the sulfur ethyl group that is present in other amino acid system. So the, the side chain is quite nonpolar. And that is proline, uh, which is um, another nonpolar aliphatic uh, R group containing amino acid. So, uh, but in this case, the aliphatic side chain, uh, it makes a sort of a cyclic structure. So we can see that the nitrogen and alpha carbon uh, becomes a part of a five-membered pyrrolidine ring. So we can see that this is alpha carbon and this is NH2. So they make, um, like they're, they're, they're uh, members of the five-member uh, pyrrolidine ring. So <clears throat> now this amino acid is, is a secondary amino acid. It is not primary amino acid. When we say it is a secondary amino acid, meaning that, that in this case, the NH3, NH, uh, an amino group is not free. So it is attached to another CH2, another alkyl group as well. Uh, however, in other amino acid, uh, this NH2 or NH3 group is quite free. And that's why we call it as a primary amino acid. But this one, proline particularly, uh, is secondary in nature because on one hand it is attached to this alpha carbon and on the other hand it is attached to uh, CH2. Uh, it is also known as amino acid. So what is the difference between amino and amino acid? Amino acid is uh, the one, uh, the molecule that has amino group NH3 and a carboxylic group in the same molecule. So that is amino acid like uh, we discussed earlier. However, amino acid contains amino group. An amino group is this one. When nitrogen uh, NH2 is attached to another CH2 alkyl group, so this is the amino group, and a carboxylic group to the same carbon atom, uh, to the same carbon. So we have uh, alpha carbon, and to one end uh, we have C uh, carboxylic group, and the other end is attached, and the other side uh, it is attached to uh, this bond, imide group, uh, and that's why we call it as amino acid. So uh, in terms of its presence in the protein structure, so wherever this protein, uh, this proline is present, um, um, due to steric hindrance, you can see this structure, which is um, not a usual structure, it is just a cyclic structure. So wherever this protein, proline is present in the secondary structure, it produces a sort of a kink or a bend in the secondary structure of proteins. So that part is quite rigid in contrary to um, um, uh, the glycine where that part where glycine is present is quite flexible. Okay, so this is another class of um, um, amino acids, um, aromatic R group containing amino acid. So in these amino acids, the side chain uh, contain aromatic ring, uh, like a benzene ring. Um, they are comparatively nonpolar, um, hydrophobic in nature. 
And amino acid uh, in this class include phenylalanine, tyrosine, and tryptophan. Now, uh, phenylalanine, which is one of the um, aromatic R group containing amino acid, uh, it has this aromatic ring. You can see this is a benzene ring with, C, with one CH2. Um, it is non-polar in nature um, and, and uh, it is involved in hydrophobic interaction. So the charge distribution is quite even on a benzene ring uh, and therefore it is uh, not going to interact with water molecules. So it is hydrophobic interactions and involved in hydrophobic interaction. Uh, however, we have another uh, amino acid tyrosine, uh, three letter code is TYR and a single uh, letter code is Y. Uh, in this case, um, it does have aromatic um, side chain, this one benzene ring and CH2. Uh, however, in addition to that, it does have a hydroxyl group uh, which can form hydrogen bonding. Uh, however, other regions of the side chain are quite hydrophobic. So, in terms of hydrophobicity, uh, if we rank them, then um, tyrosine uh, is less hydrophobic as compared to phenylalanine because tyrosine has got this OH group, and we know that this OH group is um, polar in nature, so it is available to interact with a water molecule. Uh, however, however, the other side chain residues, they are quite hydrophobic in nature. Uh, one of the important characteristics of this OH is that uh, you might know that uh, proteins, um, there's a post-translation modification uh, and phosphorylation is one of the most important post-translation modification and that OH group is involved in phosphorylating, uh, in phosphorylation of the protein molecules. We will discuss the role of these different types of post-translation modifications. However, uh, amino acids containing OH group are involved in this, um, uh, so they are phosphorylated um, to, to regulate the activity of different proteins. This is another um, amino acid in the same group, tryptophan, three letter code is TRP and a single letter code is W. Uh, it is again less hydrophobic uh, than, than phenylalanine. Um, uh, the, um, it has got NH group, which is that one, and it is quite polar. The other regions of the side chain, again, they are, um, I mean, there is even distribution of charges, so uh, they are hydrophobic in nature. But this group, NH, is polar in nature. And this chain, this, this complete ring, is known as indole ring. Uh, indole ring um, has two uh, ring structures. So one is six-membered ring, a benzene ring, and another one is the five-member pyrrole ring. Um, so again, in terms of hydrophobicity, tryptophan and tyrosine, they are less hydrophobic as compared to phenylalanine. And why they are less hydrophobic? Because in tyrosine we have seen a hydroxyl group which uh, might be involved in it, which has, which has the potential to interact with water. And in this case, the NH group uh, is there that has the potential to interact with water. So they are less hydrophobic as compared to uh, phenylalanine.